Hi, everybody. How you doing? I'm Gloria Moraga. I'm a political woman, and I vote. Well, what are you doing today? It's Friday, August 12th, 2022. I have been glued to the talking heads on the TV, watching the coverage of the Trump classified document story. I just heard on the radio when I was coming back from dropping my grandson off at a football game, Friday night football, yay, that um, Trump is saying he declassified the documents. Well, it doesn't work that way, Mr. Man. Mr. Man. The coverage is mesmerizing. The whole story is mesmerizing. Why? Because why would you take classified documents? Why? I mean, he took them because he's saying he declassified them. So he took them. So they weren't planted. I know we're all innocent until proven guilty. Yada, yada, yada. But all right. So one of the reasons I'm so kind of obsessed with this is that the news coverage, they keep showing the helicopter flying over Trump's Florida home, which is apparently also a golf club. Um, and here's what I'm thinking. You are a rich white man. You have everything. You can afford to live anywhere in the world and you live by this ocean, you know, you live near an ocean. It's not the best ocean in the world, but it's, a, it's an ocean. You have a beach. The beach is right freaking there. Why? Why would you lie and steal and cheat to stay in the White House? Why would you want to cause harm to people by saying, lock and load or stand by and stand down and stand by? And the only answer I can come up with, yeah, he's a psychopath. He's a political Ted Bundy. You know, a couple of other items before I switch topic. I want to say this. Communications and this story. One, it was not an FBI raid. It was the execution of a federal search warrant. And that was approved by a federal judge. And that judge was appointed by Donald Trump. Two, Trump, not the DOJ, made the search public. Why? My answer, money, honey. It's always about money with them. He's raising money. He immediately sent out a, an email to all his supporters. Send money. And they are. Now, Trump could have released information on what the feds were looking for from the get-go. He and his lawyers, they know. They were looking for top-secret classified documents. Here's the thing. He could have turned them over a long time ago to the National Archives, but he did not. And when they came and asked for them again in June, he didn't do it again. And why? Because he thinks he's above the law. And the fact that Republicans in Congress let him get off the hook twice, and again after the January 6th insurrection, proves that he thinks he's above the law and he thinks he can get away with it forever. They enabled him, and he gets away with crime after crime. People died on January 6th, and I was listening to the radio because all you get on the radio when you don't have smart radio is right-wingers talking crazy. And one of these white right-wingers said, well, no cops died on January 6th. And I said in the car, bullshit, bullshit, you liars. An officer died right after January 6th, from a stroke. Of course, it was caused by stress. No, I'm not a doctor, but. And then 
a number of officers committed suicide because it was so awful. It was so awful. They were so traumatized. And those blue lives are on Trump's ticket, and somebody needs to punch that ticket. All right. In other news, because I have another podcast I want to do about an important political issue. Here's what else is happening today. And I mention these two items only because I love books and love to read. And I love authors. Even when I disagree with some of the content. And I love movies and artists. Author Salman Rushdie was stabbed today by a crazy person. Rushdie was on stage in upstate New York getting ready to take part in a discussion when he and another person, the person he was going to discuss, you know, deep thoughts with, they were both stabbed. Now, Rushki, if you'll remember, wrote Satanic Verses, and uh, religious extremists condemned that book right away. And the Ayatollah Khomeini called a fatwa, calling for his death right after that book was published. Rushki is now on a ventilator and he's unable to speak because he was stabbed in the throat and somewhere else on his body. That's awful. And actor Anne Hesch died today. I loved her. She was a talent. She, um, I just loved her in Six Days, Seven Nights. She was just so cute and so funny and just had great comedic timing and she could do drama and comedy and she was fabulous um, she has struggled with addiction for years apparently she recently crashed her car into a house it burst into flames someone in the house was was hurt um, she was severely burned she was put on a on a ventilator and apparently she was removed from that respirator today and passed away. And I hope that she has found some peace. Okay, there was another really, really big story today. And that's coming up in another podcast. Another video. I'm Gloria Moraga. I'm a political woman. And I vote. Follow me. Follow me.